Hi everyone, it's Angela from Cake Angel and today I'm going to show you how to pipe a scabious flower. And for this I'm using a stiff consistency icing in pink and yellow and I'm using a tip 104 for the petals. I'm going to start with adding some icing to the flower nail and then I'll attach the parchment square to it. So I'm going to have the widest end of the tip facing towards the center of the flower nail as I pipe and you'll notice when I'm piping that I'm turning the flower nail and I'm also moving the tip up and down to create a really nice ruffled effect. Next I'm going to add my second layer, again the widest part is towards the center and I'm squeezing and piping and turning. And that's our second layer done. Let's get our third layer done. Now when you look at this, you can see the nice height in the petals and also the separation of them as well. But what I'm gonna do is use my scribe tool to go around and just make some adjustments to the icing. So you'll notice here it's a little bit too close together. So I'm just gonna tap that down slowly. And then I'm going to work my way around and just manipulate the icing so it has a bit more of a natural look to it. If you don't have a scribe tool, you can always use a toothpick for this as well. Okay, that's done. So next we're going to do our center. And I'm using the stiff icing for this. I'm just going to pop the tip off the piping bag and pipe a little dab of icing in the center. I'm going to pop the tip back on the bag and this is a tip 1.5 that I'm using for the pollen. Just going to smooth off that little ball of icing that we just made. I'm just going to use the tip to tap it down slightly, make sure it's the right shape for us. And then I'm going to pipe lots and lots and lots of dots on it. So you want to hold your bag at 90 degrees for this and just pipe and pull, pipe and pull. Use the flower nail to turn as well so that it's less awkward for your wrist and just keep going until the whole center is covered. And there you go, there's our flower finished. You're just gonna set that aside and let it dry completely and then you can remove it from the parchment square and pop it on your cake, cookie or cupcakes. Hope you found that useful. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on my channel, hit the like button and also subscribe so you can get all the notifications for our next videos. Thanks for watching.